Hello ladies and gentlemen, I have some bad news today. Grandma Ma Reggie has uh, died and um, all she left me was this roughly phallic shaped restaurant of hers and $369,553,000. But you know what, that just might be enough because I have a dream. A dream of creating the ultimate dining experience and I think now's my time. So let's uh, let's just go ahead and tear everything down while the people People are kind of still eating here, but that's okay. Yeah, I don't know, it's a really weird dining experience. Like, the table just disappeared, and all the walls, and... Yeah, we're going for like... <laughs> I just took the Jero from under... <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Come back, we're gonna open up later. Like, a couple days, give us a couple days. Okay, with everyone gone, we're just gonna go ahead and... Remove... Oh my god, I can remove the sidewalk? We can get rid of these trees. We're gonna need a lot of room to build here. And remember, nature's the enemy. Okay, now with everything totally decimated, except for these cute little flowers, which somehow resist my almighty delete tool, um, we're good to go. So how are we going to build the ultimate restaurant? Well, the ultimate restaurant needs an ultimate supply of customers. And the more I think about it, the more it becomes obvious to me that the best way to get someone into your restaurant is to force them into your restaurant. And if you don't have a gun, which I don't think I have in this game, I'm going to have to use, I'm going to get a little bit more creative. We're going to go ahead and make a roadblock here. Okay, interesting. They've quantum tunneled through my roadblock. Of course, like brick walls, what was I thinking? Okay, but this guy, there, okay. They do they do obey the laws of physics, just not the cars. We're gonna go ahead and do a little something like this. Okay, guys, this is the proof of concept. If you block the road, they will come. And all I have to do is, <laughs> I just have to build my restaurant somewhere on the other end of this, and then and make it, make it mandatory that they go through my restaurant to get through the map. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make like an airport style line here. Some might call it a maze. I don't know if that's fair. I mean, you can't get lost in it. Is it a maze if you can't get lost? Better not leave a bad review, guys. Not a maze. Guests are stuck. Stuck where? What part of this is not clear to you? For God's sake. Guys, I really just don't understand what you're not what you're not getting about this. You go in through here. You take you take a left, you take another left, you take you just keep taking lefts. I'm pretty sure. I can't imagine how this could be any simpler. Just follow the green. Just follow the green line, you dummy. Okay, well we're gonna sort that out later. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter if the guests are stuck. We still have a lot of restaurant design to do. So we've got pretty much this to work with, and uh, let's get right down to it. Okay, so we've blocked off our restaurant. This is looking good so far. Lots of space, like 700,000 square feet. Now you may be thinking, how are we going to design this restaurant? Well, I'm thinking, if you guys remember that game show, You Want to Make a Deal, I think it's called, where they tell the contestants like, hey, you know, pick what's behind door number one, two, or three. Uh, that's kind of what I'm going to go for here. I kind of want to have like a, a variety pack restaurant, you know? Okay, great. Looking good. So... We're gonna have to pop some doors on here. We'll just go with these doors. We don't want the ones with the windows. That we don't want them to be able to see what's behind the door. Door number one, two, three, four, and five. Door number five leads directly. <laughs> door number five leads directly into oncoming traffic. Have to be careful about that one. So now we have to basically design five different dining rooms, and um, we just go from there. Okay. So for this one, it's quite obvious we want a table on the road. Oh. Okay, well it won't let me put the table on the road. The next best thing I can do is make a couple dingy old tables here. <laughs> so whenever, whenever you want to, uh, whenever you want to get up for a minute, you're gonna have to kind of navigate your way through traffic. Not bad, not bad. Behind door number two, um, hmm, how am I gonna do this? I'll put a table and then a chair, which is entirely too far away from the table. Then we're gonna go ahead and fill the room with rat traps. And also a couple cactuses, just for good measure. I don't know about you guys, I think this place is shaping up already. The Rat Trap Cactus Room is, is sure to attract a lot of attention. Maybe from the wrong people, but we'll see. Moving on to door number two, what shall we do here? Hmm. Okay, I'm feeling inspired here. Door number two, we, we need to save on space here. I mean, we only have like 800 hectares of land left. So let's just make room number three double as the bathroom here. No, this is really good. You don't understand how good this is, guys. And, um, yeah, we can probably fit the deep fryers in here, too, just to save on space a little more. I like this. Also, uh, there's this feature where I can hire an employee. So look at him. I just drag him around. <laughs> I can fucking, like, I can whip him around at, like, Mach 7. I'm, like, centrifuging his brain out right now. He's going to come out and be totally brain dead. But I'm going to put him in here. I'm 
want to put a couple of these in here. Oh, they're leaving. They have a mind of their own, but they don't... They don't know what they want. They're still a little shaken up. Okay, anyway, we've got, um, we've got a couple of Josephs running around. So let's keep working on our, our door design here. Next door... Oh, this is going to be the perfect one. Sometimes you come to a restaurant and you, you don't want to see anyone. You just want to be locked in a, a two-by-one solitary confinement cage. And here at Reginaldo's House of Chicken Nuggets, you know, we got you covered. You know, I guess I should probably be pretty, like, thankful that the cars can just go through the walls. Because, because if not, then the cars would have to drive through the maze. And that, that might make it really complicated when, there, when there's people inside. I wonder if my employees can figure out the maze. Let me hire an employee. Okay, well, well, we'll just, we'll check in on Daniel in a couple hours when he decides where he wants to go. Right now I'm designing the kitchen area and I want an ungodly amount of storage because I intend to never do dishes in this goddamn restaurant. That's one of my least favorite chores. So we're just gonna have, I don't know, probably like 700 plates. And then when we run out, then the restaurant closes. That's, that's my idea of a successful restaurant. I don't know if I've communicated this idea yet, but I also plan on only making chicken nuggets. This will be an exclusively chicken nugget restaurant, so we're gonna need a lot of deep fryers. I don't know what, like, like, consumer base I'm targeting with a chicken nugget restaurant. Like, I think probably, like, degenerates, but maybe that's good. Maybe they'll enjoy this. Seems like a good spot. Hey, all right, it's looking good. It's looking good. Okay, it's looking good. Now we just have to order our supplies. I'm gonna go ahead and say we need... I'm gonna keep clicking chicken until you stop letting me click chicken. 70 chickens! Excellent. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with plates. You guys better bring your fucking appetite, alright? I got like 70 raw chickens coming through. 42 plates, what the fuck? Alright, whatever. Now we just gotta wait for those shipments to arrive. And then we're like, ready for the grand opening. Thomas and Daniel and Paul, they're figuring it out. What the fuck is wrong with my guests? My guests have like the problem solving faculties of a seven-year-old. I mean, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm marketing this as an exclusively chicken nugget based restaurant. I don't know what I was expecting. Guys, literally, literally right there. Turn around. This goes right to the exit. Oh, there's no door. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's literally no door. Okay, my bad. Okay, well, we had to make some compromises on the maze, but we finally got them going through it very nicely with your dirty fucking shoes. God damn it. And so now... <laughs> <laughs> People are being chased out of the restaurant by a battalion of Thomases and Daniels with brooms. Yeah, just doing some finishing touches here. I thought that the solitary confinement would look a little better in brick red. Okay, I keep getting these really fucking stupid... Did you guys see that? I think, a, I think that was a rat. Maybe a person just walked in that room and fucking got exploded into a million pieces. I keep getting this annoying notification the employees are complaining about a high workload, so I'm just going to go ahead and alleviate that problem right now by hiring about 700 people. I'm just going to call all of them Joseph. Right now we're on Joseph number like 25. They're still complaining about the high workload. I haven't even opened yet, Joseph. I accidentally placed the Joseph outside. Somehow he got... He's outside the corporeal dimension and he's just floating in the, in the blue. So, good luck, James. <laughs> Luck with that. Okay, we have an army of we have an army of Josephs filtering through the maze, cleaning up behind everyone. So I think that's good. Um, great. Let's let's open. Let's put the uh, chicken nuggets on the menu here, and let's start getting some customers. Oh shit, we got to design this last room really quick. It's gonna be like a really like uh, abstract theme. This one. Fucking eight statues. One of them's backwards of Robert E. Lee. And seven. Okay, seven statues of Robert E. Lee, uh, the Mona Lisa, uh, a gramophone, no, a series of tables, and then a single chair. Of all of the rooms, no, room number, what is this, like four if we're counting left to right? That's not too bad. Let's see how everyone's enjoying their stuff. Okay, a lot of people are going for the... <laughs> He's pissed. <laughs> They're both pissed. A lot of people are going for the toilet deep fryer communal dining room that's quite nice we're not getting well one person was brave enough to to make it through the cacti and uh and rat trap room weirdly enough no one's going for the straight into traffic room an employee complains that there's nothing to do well what the fuck do you want with it's, it's everything with you people there's nothing to do there's too much to do there's 700 people in the hallway i don't know how to please these guys getting a, a little dribble of customers right now that's not gonna pay for my 800 josephs that i've that I've hired. 
Also, the fridges were full like eight hours ago, so we just have random delivery men like leaving <laughs> uncooked chicken on the floor. But we have a profit of 100. Or no, that's we have an income of 100, a profit of negative 2,600. Let's see if we have any reviews. This is a bad restaurant. The menu is too small. Give me a break. What do people want these days? Oh, okay, I see the issue. The solitary confinement cages. There's actually no room for Joseph to put the to, to put the food, so they just sit there until until I don't know a couple hours pass, and then then they leave. Okay, there's actual shit in the toilets. I can see literal pieces of shit. Flush, you animals. Look, she didn't even take her pants off. She's just shit in her pants. Okay, wait, no, that's far too convenient. I just realized I put a sink all the way in the bathroom. No, no, we're gonna have to take that sink and there. That works for me. Also, I'm gonna adopt this approach. Like, you know how when you're in the grocery store, when you're going through the checkout lane, they have all those like little tiny candy bars and stuff that you can buy and they try, you know, they try to, they try to make money off you at the last second. They go for that Hail Mary pass. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing. These people are gonna be leaving my restaurant and I'm gonna, first of all, put the door there. I'm just gonna go ahead and put about a million slot machines. That's how I'll get some money off you guys. Damn customers, maze of slot machines. You can't resist it. You can't resist the, the, the flashing lights. We're gonna bag one of these people on the way out. We're gonna get them. New review. This is a bad restaurant, the menu is too small. This restaurant sucks, it took hours for my food to arrive. Who would have thought that opening an exclusively chicken nugget themed, let's make a deal themed restaurant could have so many drawbacks? I don't rightfully understand. Look at this guy. <laughs> you imagine? <laughs> yes, right this way, I'll show you to your table, sir. You go in, there's not enough room for you to even take your chair out. You have to climb over the top of your chair and sit and look at the, the wall. That should be a brick wall, why isn't that brick? I, I fucking painted this. This is preposterous. That'll fix our problems, I think. We'll start getting good reviews now, I, 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 would, I would reckon. Now you might think we're done here, but I just realized, personally, we have a whole nother floor to play with, so let's just go ahead and uh, get out the old wall tool here. Second floor on the go. I don't know how I got the zoning for any, <laughs> any of this. <laughs> yeah, let it build on the road. Fuck it, who cares? <laughs> and second floor is ready. Okay, second floor is complete. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I'm going for a strong theme of escape is futile. So let's go down to the first floor, see how things are going. Yeah, no, no, no one really likes my- How do you give me more than one star, though? How do you even do that? You come in here, first of all, you're, you're faced with a, I don't know, roughly eight minute long maze that you have to go through. <laughs> then you're like shuffled through a series of doors by a bunch of people named Joseph. You either get this room, which is like moderately creepy, you get solitary confinement with no food, you get the toilet the, the toilet deep fryer room, or you get the cactus bear trap room, or the, the, the straight into traffic room. I don't know. I don't know how these people are giving me two stars. We, we need to, we, those are rookie numbers. We gotta get that lower. What, what is this? How are my reviews going up? The restaurant is all right. We're gonna three star reviews. It's, what? No. No, it's bad restaurant. Bad, bad, bad Jacob, whoever's eating in my toilet room. It's bad. Piss on it. Piss on those chicken nuggets, Nancy. Is that your name? Nate? Max? I guess that is kind of convenient. He went straight from plate to toilet and then back to plate in like one second. That's... Maybe I'm, I'm starting to get the, uh, the, the method to my madness. Is that blood? I'm getting really tired about my low, my low number of customers, so I think I'm gonna just try and maybe in, imprison a couple of them. Oh my god, we got one. Look at this. Look at this. I want to trap one. I want to... Yeah, now you're my customer forever, motherfucker. <laughs> How scary would that be? You go into a room, and it's just like this weird little solitary confinement. You're like, uh, whatever, alright, I'm gonna leave. And then you come out, and there's a brick wall on the other side. Like, freshly put up. I want to see how she reacts. Oh, she needs to use the toilet. And now she's trapped. <laughs> she realizes she can't escape. Oh my god. I'm terrible. Escape really is futile. Anyway, the design plans for the second floor are almost complete, and then after that, I think we're, we're pretty much done here. How are we gonna do this? I think people want... People want clocks? Nothing like the constant reminder of, you know, life passing you by as you spend eight minutes walking through my restaurant just trying to leave. They want clocks, and they also want Endless amounts of gramophones. 
It's like elevator music, but you just can't. You never get out. Oh no. <laughs> They're not synced up. Each gramophone is playing the same song at a different time. <laughs> oh no. This is the worst room of them all, and you have to go through it. <laughs> There's fish tanks going through the wall. This is like a fucking acid trip. <laughs> Here's a good one. Here's a good one. We're gonna go ahead and make a door here so it'll actually be quicker for them to get through. But then we're just gonna block it off on the other side and just put a gramophone in it. <laughs> oh, thank fuck. There's finally an escape from this endless barrage of gramophones. Oh, it's another gramophone. I'm a sick, I'm a sick bastard, aren't I? You know what the best thing about this is? I just realized there's a thing called the hygiene overlay and this tells you where it's really messy. So the red is messy, but there's also a thing called the decor overlay. And it tells you where you have really impeccable decor, but the green. Everything on this floor is green. <laughs> this is optimal meta decor has been discovered. It's just 800,000 gramophones. Why is this such a like acid trip horror story? <laughs> like, could you imagine coming here if you were high? Oh my god. The endless army of Joseph's filtering through the maze at all times, just chasing the guests out with their brooms, really. Really does it for me. <laughs> and, and before I go, I just want to say the best part about this whole thing is that you can't avoid it. If at any for any reason you need to go from this part of town to that part of town, you're going through Reginald's House of Chicken Nugget. <laughs> and even if you don't get food, you're gonna get the gramophones. Hey guys, well I think that just about does it for uh, Reginald's House of Chicken Nugget. We've achieved consecutive one star reviews we were getting into three stars for a minute there i was quite worried but we've done it we've taken over this entire chunk of land even the road is part of our domain we have made an excellent maze you know who doesn't love a maze when they're going to you know they're, they're starving to death they have to go through a, a 24 layer maze then you come through you get this experience with the seven different doors you can have the robert e lee room the um trapped and can't escape room this girl's been trapped in there for like two weeks, dude. I don't know how Henry got in there, but he's he's also trapped. The chicken nugget deep fryer room with toilets. Uncleaned, by the way, Henry. <laughs> the cactus room and the uh, oncoming traffic room. Really great. I think we've, we've made something special here. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget, escape. <laughs> escape is futile when you come to <laughs> Reginald's house of chicken nugget. <laughs>